Hey everyone, this is Julie from Fancy Friday Soaps. Today we are making black raspberry vanilla soap. So come along with us for the process. Here I, oh, mm -hmm. Bobby's here too. <laughs> yeah, you almost forgot the name of the soap, didn't you? I did almost forget the name. Um, so this is just me pouring the life solution into the oils that I already have melted down. And I'm going to blend those up. It's a urinal on our table. Oh my. <laughs> so this is just going through the process of um, turning this into soap. So it's um, we want it to come to emulsion. So that's just where the water and lye solution are fully mixed and incorporated in with the oils. Okay. What was the yellow stuff? The yellow stuff were the oils. So oh. there was coconut oil and olive oil and avocado oil no nope, not avocado oil in this one but Ca castor oil castor oil and synthetic oil no and gams oil <laughs> no pins oil no i'm out of oils <laughs> okay so the white stuff the stuff you put in there to make it look like pancake batter was the lie correct yeah it wasn't white it was clear but yes it, it was just made it look like pancake batter yes it was okay. lye mixed with water Okay. So now I'm just splitting the batch off. So we've reached emulsion, so that's when the oil and the water aren't separating anymore. And um, I'm just separating the batch off into two or three different containers. I think I'm going to do three. Hey, there it is, right on <laughs> cue. Maybe four? Nope, just three. So now I'm going to start the process of coloring each of these. So this is titanium dioxide that I'm adding to this first um, cup, which is just going to turn this little cup of batter white. Is it supposed to be called batter? or are you It calling is soap it? batter. Oh, okay. I thought maybe I had created a whole new jargon. <laughs> no. Nope, it's actually usually referred to as soap batter at this point. So a lot of times you don't have to mix colors with the stick blender, but the titanium dioxide just does a little bit better if you go ahead and mix it up. And I usually mix most of my colors with the stick blender anyway, just to make sure they're fully incorporated all the way through. Got to clean up any drips. It's important. Is that usually when you yell for me, Bobby? <laughs> Paper towel. Yep. <laughs> Okay, so, so this is mica that I'm adding. Did you see what color it was? Um, I didn't either. I think it was Hollywood pink. Four, four <laughs> mica. Oh, so got a question. Yeah. So the titanium dioxide and did this is magenta. Did not appear to be a powder. Was it, it a liquid? It was a powder before. Okay. And so what I had done was I pre-mixed it with okay. some oil. Um. So that it was a liquid, because it just mixes in butter. If I go ahead and make it liquid before I add it into the soap. But these micas mix in really easily without mixing them with oil first. So the other, the um, titanium dioxide, I just mixed with some uh, sweet almond oil. And then just added it into the batter. Yeah, that's the Hollywood pink mixed with, I think, a little bit of magenta. I think I mixed the colors in there a little bit. Sometimes I play around with the colors and just kind of make them whatever I want to. So They named that color after me. Hollywood pink? Mm-hmm, definitely. It's a long story. It's a long story. <laughs> Colors is weird. The people want to know. <laughs> so I just mix up my colors going from lightest to darkest, and that way I don't have to, um, you know, I'm not adding any of my darker colors back into my lighter there's ones. No that's why I did there's the, no bleeding. That's why I did the white first, and it's off to the side. And I kind of go back and forth between the pinks and the purples because they uh, don't matter a whole lot if I get purple in the pink. Mm -hmm. But I didn't like, you can see the way those two soaps are um, almost the same color. And so what I'm doing now is I'm adding some more Hollywood pink to the pink and I'm adding a little bit of that titanium dioxide into that other pot of color over there just to brighten up this pink and then to mute that other pink and make it a little bit more pastel. Okay. So you yeah. can tell that got a lot brighter. And in case you're wondering why she is moving so freakishly fast, the original film 
has been sped up to double time. No, I'm just incredibly fast with the stick blender. <laughs> Proficient. <laughs> like Inigo Montoya. That's right. So now we've got kind of a lighter color pink, which is, I definitely wanted to see those two be different colors. More, More titanium dioxide, just to lighten it up. I'm going to do, in a minute, you're going to see me do what's called an in-the-pot swirl. And so when I do oh, that... Oh, no. <laughs> More college flashbacks. <laughs> the in-the-pot the in swirl. I really want to be able to see the difference in those colors. in-the-pot swirl. Yeah. So this is huh. a fragrance oil. This is um, black raspberry vanilla from Nurture Soap. And it's just a fragrance oil that makes the soap smell good. How would you describe the scent without using the word black raspberry? Or I vanilla? can't because it's a dupe for black raspberry vanilla from Bath and Body Works. Okay. <laughs> so that's actually what it smells like. It smells pretty close anyway. Which is a very sweet berry scent. A berry sweet? I see, I see what you did there. You did it, not me. So sometimes fragrance oils will make your batter behave badly. <laughs> but, <laughs> Sorry. But <laughs> I knew you were going to laugh at that. But this fragrance oil, I've worked with it before. I know that it's not going to behave. Oh, okay. All right. Time yes. out. Before you say it again, uh -huh. what you, oh, someone, somebody is already texting about what you just said. Um, what does behave badly mean? So it can make your soap batter thicken and accelerate. So it can make it um, start to basically turn into a hard soap faster. Or it can um, cause it to rice. Or it can even cause your batter to separate. Okay. So Cause it to rice? Mm -hmm. I know we've used that word before, but it's to turn white or ashy. No. No, I'm sorry. Okay. That's called ashing. Oh, well, ricing, that's, con that's not confusing yeah. at all. Ricing is when it is when the batter separates basically so it actually will look like kind of like rice pudding um in the bowl which i don't know if you've ever had rice pudding before look at me does it look like i've had rice pudding chocolate pudding yes <laughs> rice pudding rice pudding, rice pudding no. is a dessert though it has it's called so rice. this is the in the pot swirl so what i do is i just i'm gonna pour these colors into the pink in different sections Okay. And I pour it starting up high, and then I lower because when I pour it up high, it goes all the way to the bottom of my bowl, and then when I get down closer, it stays right there on the top. So I wanted it to go all the way through. Okay, the first in the pot swirl you did or whatever, the first dab you put in there, mm -hmm. looked like one of those Pinterest things where the mom sticks the baby's rear in and some orange paint <laughs> and then oh, puts no. it on a plate and yeah. I see that. Yeah. That's what it looks like. Yeah. You're not wrong. So the in the pot swirl means I don't have to do anything to it. I just pour the colors in there together and then it's going to swirl for me as I pour it into the mold. Self-swirling soap? Self-swirling. So this is a, just a loaf mold. Um, <gasps> oh! Yeah. Oh no. Sometimes messes happen. Soap making can be messy. <laughs> that was... That was drastic. Yeah, it's okay. Now is the magic of movies. I'm it, gonna clean it up. Is the See? Oh. <laughs> poof, poof, and it's gone. What was your question? Well, I was gonna ask if the lie was gonna like eat off the finish of our hand, maybe handcrafted third world Tabor table Tabor Tabor. <laughs> I don't know what it, that's like a it's a some kind of wild hog, right? A Tabor <laughs> Tabor. I have no, no idea. I think it's a taper. It's so late. I don't even know what we're doing. Um, so <laughs> it's only 10 o'clock. It's not that That's late. That's really late. So Good now morning. I'm just scraping out my bowls so that I can swirl the top. So I just want each of those colors kind of sitting right on the top of the soap because I'm going to swirl the top in a minute and just kind of make it a little bit more decorative. Good grief, Chuck. <laughs> How loud do you need to drink the water? <laughs> Sounds like someone's taking laps in a swimming pool right behind us. Ridiculous. Four-pound dog drinking like a St. Bernard. 
Okay, so sorry. I don't waste any soap. soap. So there was lots of soap okay, left well, in the big bowl. Well, except for the giant plop on the table. Okay, yeah, that <laughs> did get a little wasted, but um, <laughs> but the the big bowl of soap, I turned that into samples. So you're not gonna see me do that on the video, but I will scrape out the big bowl into like small sample size bars. And um, that's what I give out of samples. And so I'm tap I tapped it down just there so I could get out any air bubbles. And my mold is getting a little bit stretched out, so sometimes it falls down. Okay, so I notice. Yeah. I know this the footage is sped up. Mm -hmm. But sometimes in this process, you kind of start to like some some batters have started to thicken up, mm -hmm. uh, and you kind of start to go into. A little bit of freak out mode. Mm -hmm. uh, is that happening with this one? Uh, it's not. This one okay. stayed really nice and fluid the whole time. You could tell it poured really easily out when I was scraping the bowls. So it stayed nice and fluid and didn't accelerate at all. This is where I always second guess myself and wonder, do I need to add more swirls or am I just going to mess it up? I think I just left it. I've never asked myself that question about anything. <laughs> Do I need to add more swirls to it? Like you and I live well, in this different... Is, this is the glitter part. We Yes, we live in different worlds. This confirms it. I've never asked, does it need more swirls, and where's the glitter? <laughs> so, I had a... Yeah. My method of glittering the soap. Shake it off. Shake it off. More shaky. Yeah, it's hard to, um, I need a better glittering method. What? I've actually used a better glittering method since then. I've, I have a salt shaker that I put glitter in. The glittering method. I just don't, I don't ever really thought of, I've ever thought about glitter delivery methods. Yeah. Okay. The only time I've thought about it was about 15 years ago when two teenage, teenage boys at the church I worked at stole my keys, broke into my car, <sighs> took and poured green glitter down the air conditioning vents of my 1989 Cutlass yeah. Sierra. And so this is about 48 hours later. I unmolded it and now we get to cut it and see what it looks like on the inside. I walked into my master's level theology class looking like I just came from a rave in New York City in 1989. Ooh, pretty swirls. We just got a message. Cool. Ding. So that in the pot swirl, you can see really, like I said, completely does the work for me. And so it makes it just really swirly and pretty on the inside. I'm terrified that one of these times I'm going to capture on video you slicing four of your digits off with that giant meat cleaver. Cool. And also no, like no, that every not. bar is different. <laughs> cool. Yeah, so that green, green glitter in your car, yes. it was, like, we found green glitter on Forever. things for, for, like, years. Yeah, I sold that car, like, four years later, and it still had glitter every now and then just kind of shoot out whenever I turned it on. Thank you, Jason Schuma and Charlie Davis. That's right. I know you're watching these soap videos religiously now that you're in your early 30s and have nothing better to do. I'm sure they're watching. The cutting board cut from your grandfather's cherry tree that your dad made at Christmas. Is it cherry? I don't know what kind of wood it is. I should ask. I don't think it's cherry. I think you made that up. I, I thought it was. Cherry's kind of red. That's not red. I don't know. I'm clearly, I'm just asking. <laughs> dad, what kind of tree is that? Yes. <laughs> I'm sure my dad's watching. Hey, Hey Daryl, what treat? Like what am I? What a terrible question for a son-in-law to ask. Shouldn't a man just automatically know what kind you of should. wood something is? Yeah, I think so. Obviously, not a real man. No. But yes, it was cut from our grandfather's tree. I meant not like they didn't cut down the tree to make cutting boards out of it. No, they cut down the tree. And... That was a gift from my dad. Yeah. He made it for us. And this is the only thing it's ever been used for, right? Yeah. You've only had it a few months, mm -hmm. so it is now the soap cutting board. That's right. Down to the last two bars here. There's 
there's deep blue in the background. Oh, there is deep blue in the background. There's something else over there, this too, but busy... I can't see. Bye. Thanks for watching, guys. <laughs>